What's up YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I wanted to talk about my favorite accessory for the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch model to be exact. Now, I've done a ton of videos on iPad keyboards. I'll link those below and throw a little card up here so you guys can see. And my previous favorite was actually, believe it or not, Apple's own um, type cover. So it's the type cover, but this had a lot of limitations. Namely, it is not backlit, which um, I could live with because I'm not doing a whole lot of typing in the dark, to be honest with you. But the key travel is okay. You get used to it, but it's fairly shallow. But um, it also didn't offer any back protection, and you only have one angle for this. So once you use it as a keyboard, there's one angle. Now, the one I want to talk about is the Logitech Slim Combo. Now this is essentially the second generation to Logitech's original Logitech Create. That was a great keyboard. That was my favorite keyboard as far as typing goes, bar none, because it was backlit, it used a smart connector. However, the downside of that was it didn't detach. It was just a straight up folio connector. So there was no way to detach the keyboard unless you took the entire iPad out of the case, which was kind of a big pain in the butt. The other downside with the original Logitech Create was it would damage your iPad. I found out the hard way right when it came out. I got it. I was very early on. I bought the iPad Pro 12.9. I had the Logitech Create case. I took it to Afghanistan with me. And within about three or four months, the spine broke down enough where the screen was contacting the actual keyboard and it marred my screen. Um, at that time, I didn't have a screen protector, but I did put one on after the fact. And I definitely have one on now before I try this one. But that was the biggest downfall of that is literally it damaged your device. But moving forward, 2018, so far this is my favorite keyboard for the iPad Pro. And I'll talk about why. Uh, really, again, the best thing is it doesn't damage your screen, which is a plus. But all the good things that were present in the original this has got. You can still connect it with the smart connector to power it, which is a great, so you don't have to charge it. You don't have to worry about pairing with Bluetooth. You connect it, it reads it, and you're good to go. The other good thing about this keyboard is it's actually backlit as well. So if you want to type in a dark environment, you can do that. It's actually got three levels of brightness. And my favorite feature about this one is that the keyboard actually detaches. And I'll show some cutaway video, but I love this about it because you don't always need to use a keyboard. You don't want to always use it. And it just gets in the way when you want to use the iPad as a tablet instead of kind of a pseudo ad hoc laptop. So having the ability to remove the keyboard to me is my favorite feature about this. So it's very convenient. I can just snap it on and off magnetically very similar to like the Surface or, of course, Apple's own keyboard. <clears throat> and I can set that down and I can use the iPad as it was intended to as a tablet. The other great thing about this case over Apple's own case and any previous cases is the ability to hold the Apple Pencil. So it's conveniently got this little loop. Now, it doesn't look like much, but I've had this case for about three months now and never once is the Apple Pencil slid out of it. I mean, it holds it on there just fine. No issues. Um, I've still got my cap. Haven't lost that. Still got my tip. So it does what it's supposed to and it holds it. Now, maybe cosmetically it kind of sticks out, but I honestly don't give a crap and it works well. So the next, I guess, defining feature of this is they kind of mirrored Microsoft's own uh, surface line by having an adjustable kickstand, which is awesome because like I said my biggest complaint about apples was you were stuck at one angle and one angle only so depending on how you're sitting you may or may not have a good view of the screen but with this one you've got the screen or I should say you've got the kickstand and it's fully adjustable and it goes I don't know the exact degree but it goes back at a nice angle where it's actually good for drawing you can rest your hand on it it's going to hold the weight of your hand and you can draw so for all you Drawers or note takers out there, this uh, extreme angle is actually really good. And another great feature about this over Apple's own case is the ability to actually use it on your lap. Now with Apple's, 
it was near impossible to actually use on your lap because of that one angle, it was very tippy. So you, you literally kind of had to hold it on by forcing your palms on the keyboard to get it from falling off your lap. With this, you can actually use it on your lap and use it fairly comfortable. So it's more of a laptop productivity improvement than Apple's own design, I think, anyway. All right, so to wrap this video up, like I said, I've used a ton of keyboards for the iPad. I've ordered them from Amazon, off-brand, little cheap ones. And this is by far the best solution I've found for the iPad Pro. It's durable. It doesn't mar my screen. I can detach it. It's got an adjustable kickstand. So really, there's not much to dislike about this keyboard. And you can actually get it on sale right now from Amazon for 119 bucks. So I will link that um, link in the description below. So if you want to check it out on Amazon or you can go to your local Best Buy and they'll price match Amazon. So for 119 bucks, you definitely can't beat it because Apple's own keyboard is about 159 bucks still. So it is just, there's no value there whatsoever. So this is definitely worth the price. Like I said, I've used it for three months, no issues. It's as good as it was the day I bought it. So with that, if you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, then go ahead and hit that button. Thanks for watching.